Alice Seaton has been handling Alzheimer's disease in her family for years. Five years ago, my husband Mark was diagnosed with early on stage Alzheimer's. My mom, she's in the, probably the middle stages of Alzheimer's right now. My, my dad has dementia. Dr. Robert Denny tells us the diagnosis process of the disease, saying it has always been a diagnosis of exclusion. You've ruled out everything else, therefore it must be this. Dr. Denny describes some tests that can be used to determine if someone has Alzheimer's. First, a cognitive assessment. Very short a cognitive assessment of, you know, it may only take five minutes at a primary care type setting. A uh, very quick little cognitive screen. The cognitive tests are memory based, including language skills, visual spatial perception, and problem solving. Doctors also use neuropsychological testing. We can identify a pattern of strengths and weaknesses, and the pattern of scores helps us determine what potential is the causative factor here. And sometimes gene testing as well. There is an autosomal dominant gene that creates it, but it's very rare. Only maybe 1% of all patients with Alzheimer's have that gene, and it usually manifests itself significantly earlier than typical for Alzheimer's disease, and there's a very strong family history of it, obviously. So those are very rare cases, uh, so rare that they're usually not on the, the the scope for uh, assessment. Seaton says diagnosis is important. It allowed her family to decide what path they want to take. For our experience, the medications have not been proven to do anything to help. So we chose the route to go without it. And several doctors told us two things you can do is to exercise your mind and your body. And he's been, Mark's been very good at that. And I think that has helped more than anything. In Springfield, Francis Lynn, Color 10 News, Ozarks First.